serves an important role as the property and construction manager for the federal government. Today's hearing rightly chooses to focus on how GSA can continue to effectively manage the Land Ports of Entry construction program. GSA owns and manages all of the largest land ports of entries along the southern border. Daily, nearly two billion in trade crosses through the border crossings along with 355,000 vehicles, the 135,000 pedestrians and 30,000 trucks. Today, we hope to learn how GSA is improving the infrastructure at land ports of entry and how they can facilitate more efficient and secure crossings between the United States and its trading partners along the southern and northern borders. I'd like to thank Deputy Commissioner Michael Gelber of GSA for joining us today to outline the agency's role in maintaining and constructing land ports of entry. The Department of Homeland Security often has the largest federal agency presence at land ports of entry and border stations, so I'm very pleased that they will be joining us as well. I'm also pleased that we have two organizations representing private sector org uh, organizations for coming in today and giving us their perspective on working with GSA and DHS. I also look forward to hearing their insights on how DHS is implementing the pilot public the pilot public private donation program that is meant to speed the development of land ports of entry. Thank you for coming. I yield back, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. On our first